it's been a minute how's everybody doing um so since the show just announced who the Percy was I got very excited um I did have a copies of this like cover series so I picked them all up from a local bookstore um and I thought that I would read The Lightning Thief for the first time in like probably six years. Uh, take you guys through it, maybe talk about my reaction, bring up moments that I'd forgotten happened, things I'm excited to see transferred onto the screen, and also just say hey <laughs> to the people who watched this all those years ago. Um, and to get excited about getting new Percy Jackson content and just to, you know, relive my glory years <laughs> so we'll see how it goes i'll be back it's page one i'm just feeling so nostalgic <laughs> i didn't want to be a half blood yeah i don't want to be sappy and like annoying through this whole thing but um i read this book for the first time when i was in the fourth grade and i remember grabbing it from the school library and walking back and forth on these blue stairs that we had in the library um reading like if you recognize yourself in these pages if you feel something stirring inside stop reading immediately and being like do i feel something stirring inside like no baby girl this is not real but it's it just like takes me back to that specific moment in time every single time that i read this book i love it so much i forgot to put the peanut butter and ketchup the way chapter two is just everyone gaslighting percy chapter four is one of the ones that i am most excited to see on screen but i also think it's going to be the most devastating <laughs> especially since Percy's 13, the actor is, so he's going to be look like a 12-year-old. Um, he carries Grover he, like across the property line, and he's crying and calling for his mother and dragging his best friend. Like, that's going to break me. That's, that's going to break me. Percy gets his first like big look at Camp Half-Blood. Um, there's a dozen high school aged kids playing volleyball and all i'm saying is um i think we on this channel have put in the time um please just make us extra <laughs> so i have finished half the book i just made it to chapter 12 um in chapter 11 they kill medusa it was all very nostalgic i remember it like vividly but also not at all um I like i'm 22 years old now so reading this like going back and experiencing this i can remember like so many of the times before when i've read it i remember reading it for the first time when i was a kid and like not knowing that percy was the son of poseidon and how that reveal was so big and exciting and I remember um, reading it right after the movie came out and I watched the movie, but I hadn't read the book in a few years when the movie came out. Um, so I remember like, seeing the movie and being like, oh, you know, that was okay. I don't think they got a lot of things right. Um, and everyone was too old. And then I went back and reread the book and I was like, oh my God, they got nothing right. <laughs> it's just such like a special, experience and then looking at it like with adult eyes um i think this book is a lot better um than i used to give it credit for i used to really just think of it as a kid's book and it's like definitely for a younger audience but um the topics that it talks about and the way it goes about it is very interesting and um i wouldn't say adult but it is it has like a mature look into you know the trauma that percy's facing and he responds the way that i would expect a child to and it's just like it's a it's about kids and they act like kids and I think that's why when I read it again 
like my senior year of high school, freshman year of college, I was like, this is a kid's book. Um, but going back now, I would love to experience it for the first time again. I think I read it exactly when I needed to, and I'm glad that, you know, I got to experience a lot of the books as they were coming out. Yeah, I'm halfway through. I'm just feeling really nostalgic, but I cannot wait to see what um, Rick and Disney do for this TV show. And I think um, the casting is perfect and it's going to be really interesting. And I'm really glad that I'm reading it again. And I'm glad I'm taking you guys with me. Um, also, I'm sorry that the time lapse is completely out of focus. I hope that this isn't, um, I tried filming with the back camera and didn't realize that it looked like garbage. So let's check on this one. Boop. I'll check back in when I'm done. Hey, so I didn't finish last night. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish reading, um, today. I totally forgot about the whole waterbed plot. Does that ever come back? He decapitated someone. <laughs> what the? Don't know love vibes. Um, iconic moment. What I I had forgotten. I had forgotten about that. Um, I remembered that Aries was like the real lightning thief, but I guess like my horrible confession is that the movies have corrupted me, and I totally thought it was more of a Luke thing, like reveal with the beach, but it was fully not. Bad fan. Bad fan. Okay, so I did it. I finished. Truth be told, I finished this a couple weeks ago, and I filmed an outro, and I did not like it when I went to edit it this week. So, hello. Welcome to Megan's matured thoughts on her read-through of The Lightning Thief. So, I think that this book totally stands the test of time. It was honestly better than I remembered it when I went back. I don't think that this genre and writing style, not the genre, I'm still very into like fantasy, especially fantasy in our world, but I don't think the level that these are written for uh, is for a 22 year old, almost 23. So I think that's fair for me to say, not sure if I read these today, if they would be as pivotal, but it definitely is an incredible book and I think it will be amazing to share with my nieces and nephews and my kids one day. Um, it was a lot better than I remembered and there were a lot more parts in it than I remembered. Like I totally forgot about the bed and the Aries plot and, well not the Aries plot, I knew that Aries was one benefiting from the lightning thief and all of that, but I think it was definitely movie brain that was like just remembering how iconic that scene with Luke at the end of the movie was to think that it was more a bigger deal for him to be the traitor and since she's he's like such a big traitor in the rest of the series, I thought it was a little bit more him the villain rather than Aries being the villain, but it was absolutely Aries. I forgot about um, the side plot where they went to that water park. It was crazy, but you know, this book is so sentimental to me. Like, I don't think there exists a world where I read it at nine years old and it doesn't completely reshape who I am. It, you know, it was the founding of my, my character and my values. Like, Percy having a fatal flaw of being loyal, I think, is one of the most noble things in the world and definitely when I was young, I aspired to be like that. And now I understand why it's like a fatal flaw, but he's just like the standard, you know? Like <laughs> when I'm looking for someone to, to marry to raise kids with or anything, if they're not Percy Jackson, like I don't know if, if they're gonna meet my standards. It's as silly as that sounds, even at 23, like not this 12 year old version, like definitely, who this 12 year old could grow up to be in his 20s. Like I'm not in love with a 12 year old, but I was when I was 12. Like everything about this book led to who I am today. It taught me about heroes and justice. And you know, it taught me that the world isn't always fair. And sometimes that's okay. I mean, not okay, 
but like sometimes you just have to deal with it and it's okay to be upset that it's unfair and it's okay to recognize it like you're not complaining about like clouds or smoke like it's a real thing that happens and it's a kids at war story like the whole series is you know kids at this titan war and i think that those stories are so uniquely impactful especially for me when i was younger because there was a part of it that was so empowering to think like this 12 year old this 14 year old this 16 year old like they can save the world so can i like if percy can fight the titans then I can conquer my anxiety. You know, like there was definitely that correlation in reading the books and feeling empowered. And a lot of the media that, you know, became so core to who I am, like Avatar The Last Airbender and Percy Jackson, like are centered around these children in these horrid situations. Um, and it makes me want to figure out how to keep them safe like when I was a kid it was empowering to think that I could change the world and I could have this impact and you know I'm I'm small but my voice matters and now that I am an an adult it's like this is so powerful to think about how do I keep these children safe from having these experiences and obviously it's not like keeping them safe from going to war because we have hopefully okay systems in place to keep them safe from that but like keeping Percy safe from Gabe like how do how do I do that? How do I make sure that I'm not putting kids in that situation and I'm, I'm keeping them safe at every turn? Like this book is such an interesting look at children and how they deal with trauma and tough situations. Um, even if it's not really trying to be, it just is based on the fabric of what the book is about. And I think that it holds up and I think it's incredible. And I really appreciate that you know, Rick listened to what people had to say, any of the criticisms that they had about representation, diversity, all of that, and, you know, brought them into play in the second series, but especially with the casting of the show. Like, we have a black Annabeth, and we have a blonde Percy, and we have a brown Grover. Like, it's such a diverse and interesting cast, and I cannot wait to see what Disney does with the show. Um, I am, I'm just, like, thrilled, you know, to to have other people who can look at Annabeth and be like, it's me, you know, I, I'm a brunette girl, like, but I'm still definitely a white girl with blue eyes and everything. Like I, I saw Annabeth and I was able to project myself onto her because in my brain, she looked just like me. And it's really exciting to have someone on screen that, that maybe doesn't look like me. I have it, I had it in the book, you know, like I had that experience and kids will have that experience as they continue to read the book, but it's amazing to, to broaden that out and let other kids see themselves on screen in these characters that are incredible and badass and you know represent so many different facets of what it means to be a person and I, I just like really love this series so thank you to you guys for watching this let me know if you enjoyed this kind of read through type thing with my thoughts and ideas at the end I would love to spill my guts about this series and have any excuse to reread it because it is so foundational to who I am as a person and finally like thank you to the people on this channel you guys are my rock you know my everything and none of you post any marks at me and Kaylee but <laughs> I don't know if this channel will be back and thanks to Rick Riordan for writing the books that are the foundation of who I am today even at 23 years old the thing that I go back to that built me as a person as a woman and everything that that stands for is this series so thank you I love you, and I hope that this was even a little entertaining. So, I'll see you guys next time.